April 2nd, 2004. And my daughter Laura called up screaming on the phone and she said, um, I just found Jimmy and, he, and he's dead in the garage. And, uh, and then she was screaming and then a police officer picked up and I'm saying, like, you know, I just remember saying, are you sure, are you sure this can't be happening? And uh, I said, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, he's, he's, he's gone. I just couldn't believe it, unexpectedly. And then, I guess guilt that we didn't see it and that we didn't, uh, we didn't have a chance to even tell him that he left him and he shouldn't have died by himself. <laughs> that was the worst part. He was such a beautiful, he was such a good kid, he should not have died by himself. That's all that I think about now is that, you know, I failed him and I failed to see the pain he was in. He was good looking, star athlete, could talk to anybody. And that's why when he died, uh, it was a shock to all of us because we, everybody looked up to him. And maybe that was part of the, part of the issue is that he couldn't live up to his own expectations of what he expected from himself. I think if he knew that he was that it, you know, he needed to see somebody, I think he would have told us, but I don't know that he understood on his own. We don't look at suicide as an act of choice. We don't believe somebody chose to be mentally ill. And in over 92% of cases where somebody has died by suicide, we do see that there was a mental illness present which was either undiagnosed or untreated. When we were wheeling his casket out of the church, um, I was feeling pretty crappy, and something snapped in my head and said, I have to do something. And I remember turning around to the crowd, a couple hundred people, and said, you know, we're going to start a foundation in Jim's name and, and figure out how to, to make this better. If I had seen any kind of a pamphlet in the pediatrician's office, I would have picked it up, I would have read about it. It would have stuck in my head that I think the awareness needs to be constantly out there and we need to accept mental illness for, for an illness. It's not a choice. Suicide is not a choice. When my son died from suicide six years ago, we had a choice. You could bury your head in the sand, do nothing. And that wasn't an acceptable answer to me. Uh, I loved the boy, still love him and it meant the world to us. So now uh, I moved forward from there and we're trying to make a, a crusade for awareness. We're trying to make people aware of this darkness that's in our world that we can recognize and help people out of their depression and their dark moods.